my was up there can I have a mic? Hello, hi Papa D. How's the day going? You got this. <laughs> uh, intense artifact weapon. I remember who? Oh, hello, Lass. Thank you for lurking. How much does it go again? Intense. Oh, artifact and weapon. I can do that down here. Which weapon? <laughs> Where are my hands? What the fuck do they mean? Mantis <laughs> what? Swipe no. Hi. The next is a weapon. And five times.
I think that should have been. Oh. Reload. Osmanthus wine tastes the same as I remember. But where are those who share the memory? Osmanthus wine tastes the same as I remember. But where are those who share the memory? Everyone arrived? Everyone is already waiting inside. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's join them! Please, wait a moment. Before attending the meeting, 
I hope you can promise me one thing. What do you need? Promise me that you won't commit to anything too reckless. Hmm. What do you think? Okay. here so early but why isn't anybody talking we already discussed things a bit hey where have you been i've missed you two are you ready very well are you sure this is gonna work i gotta admit it's bold tell her me impressed hmm it's worth a try the point of discussion is to arrive at a solution. Let's cut the small talk and move to the next point. Uh, you're making Paimon nervous. I, I forgot I had a mic again. <laughs> I was typing. Uh, hi, Kaz. But yeah, um, I, I need to get into the Fortress of Meropity. I think that's how you pronounce it. So I need done. to finish this Archon. Quest. I have some other stuff to take care of. Catch you all later. Come on, don't give me that face. I know what you're going to say. That's what I wanted to hear. Take care. Well, Traveler, Paimon, judging from your expressions, the meeting that must have been quite spell? productive. Right? You can tell? I'm not that good at scheming or strategy, but I can sense people's emotions. Uh, Paimon's a little worried. Hopefully nothing will go wrong. I just call him Rotisserie. <laughs> to be honest, I feel the same. R right? But you're, you're already... <laughs> Your deeds speak for... Candice, we stayed behind to tell you that... Although you won't be coming with us, we'll be sure to remember your words. I'm very glad to hear that. I've said the same thing to everyone here today as I said That's to you when you arrived. <laughs> your safety is the most only when you're safe can the plan be successful. So please, take care. You're welcome. And thank you for taking my advice. Good luck. With everything. Idea. It's cold. I should put the. The scarf on. I will be right back. I see the head pat. Wait. Thank you for the head pat. The, yeah, the timing. <laughs> Osmanthus wine tastes it's the, the same, same as, as I remember. remember. But where, but are, where those are those who share, share the memory? memory? Let me just add that new hotkey. That one is set. Every journey has its final day. Don't rush. Okay. I just put the scarf on. The uh, gamepad is this one. It, it, it's cold. I, I 
I actually really do have my blanket on. Let's, uh, let it stay. Well, the number's higher than I expected. 23 degrees. But what? Because cause it's cold? Hmm, sounds good. I'll go make some preparations. Okay. I'll hate them! Have you finished saying your goodbyes? Yes, she did. But I think my uh, point also bears uh, repeating. The code makes you go Our number plan one. Is not child's play. We like won't be able to achieve anything if we're like simply I careful. I we I must see. go beyond that and fully commit ourselves to it. Idea, idea. I hope this is clear to you. Hair down. Exactly. I see, I see. Huh? Shouldn't you be saying something more cheerful to boost our morale right now? Didn't we already do that during the meeting? You can never have enough words of encouragement. In that case, Candace can cuddle you to your heart's content while I continue to remind you of the seriousness of our situation. We all have our jobs to do, after all. It's like how some people can be put in charge of logistics. Hmm. Speaking of the front lines, you don't look anything like a soldier. But there are so many hairstyles. Well, of course. Places. Compared so to many. the mercenaries, I'm merely a feeble scholar. But the advantage of not being a like mercenary a of, is like, that I get to stay in a safer place and well. offer my strategic insight. Just think Thanks, about that <laughs> mercenary who lost his mind. Mercenary groups are facing constant danger every single day. Well, being a scholar is also a high-risk occupation, and you are a scholar! I'm not like the rest of them. Even among members of the same species, some will exhibit far more potential than others. This guy. <laughs> Paimon this still guy. remembers when those mercenaries in poor Ormos called you a lunatic. I don't like any of them. <laughs> All He's intellectuals like that. are lunatics in the eyes of fools. Hmm. That reminds me. Do you remember the record we saw in the King Deshret ruins? No, I do not it mention forbidden knowledge. Hello, Bakasama. How are you today? You have a good memory. Forbidden knowledge has the power to drive people insane, but this fact has never been shared with the public. Even I, who has worked in the academia for some time, was never once informed of this. I think those mad scholars and mercenaries we encountered may have all fallen victim to the corrupting qualities of forbidden knowledge. But the I'm academia good. has always Cold, held a different okay. view. They've always believed that symptoms of madness Still. are a side effect of human contact with divine knowledge as mere mortals. Come to think of it, perhaps the academia has also <laughs> never understood the true <laughs> nature of forbidden knowledge and thus always approached the issue from the wrong direction. Wait, the withering, right? Elazar, yeah, and yeah, the sandstorms. Don't you think what is happening right now across Sumeru is rather similar to the forbidden knowledge pollution that occurred in the desert thousands of years ago? But Paimon thought that Ermin Soul's disease is what caused the withering in the sandstorms. At least, that's what Tainari told us. Wait a second. Could it be that- Ah, you've connected the dots. The cause of Ermin Soul's illness Ermin may Soul's precisely be the pollution from forbidden thing? knowledge. The pollution? Well, but I know it's got something case, to do with them. What should we do? This is but huge. I don't know. Not oh, wait. to resolve it. Why anymore. do you think Lesser Lord Kusanali would have a solution to this situation? I forgot. You mean it's related to the scene you saw when you passed out in the Avidia Forest? That whole the world forget me thing? Hmm. In that case, it's imperative that we rescue Lesser Lord Kusanali. Only by working with her to save Ermensoul can we completely resolve the problem Sumeru currently faces. To make sure we're still on track, I would like to check on the state of some of our preparatory work. Where are we going? To an Aramite base. Like 
missed it. <laughs> it's on me. Ah, they're here. Huh? What are they doing here? I gave them some technical work to do. Ah, it's the scribe. And is that the traveler I see? How's the work going? Ah, yes. We have fixed the devices according to your instructions. One of them is already ready for use, while the others are still under repair. Aren't those devices for can knowledge extraction? What are you doing with those? Look here. Huh? Uh, more kid knowledge? Are you going to put more weird stuff into his head again? What's that look on your face? Are you scared? Paimon's a little scared, but very, very furious! Hmm. <laughs> That's an interesting response. Anyway, we're not going to use this just yet. As I mentioned during the meeting, this knowledge capsule contains a decree I drew up in the past. The Academia should also have their own copy. And according to the plan we just came up with... Traveler, I want you to record something into this capsule. Do you believe we can save Lesser Lord Kusanali? Yes. Good. Conviction is the most important part of all of this. Now, please get ready and put on this device. You want us to record our conviction into the knowledge capsule? Yes. Paimon is still really worried. I understand, but trust me, Paimon, this is something we have to do. It's best if you can do as I say. Because, to achieve this impossible task, it sounds like you'll need to fool your own heart first. Although it may feel like a trick, self-encouragement may be the most important tool we have. Hmm. Paimon can see the point you're trying to make. Imagine this. We have orchestrated our plan and successfully rescued Lesser Lord Kusanali. As a result, we have changed Sumeru's entire political landscape. Everything went without a hitch, and everyone recognizes and praises our achievements. Now, open your eyes. Here. What's this? Read it out loud. What for? He didn't even. It's do done. What a fast. Is your head okay? Experience. Does anything hurt? It's just a recording. There should be no negative effects. But what was the point of doing this? Ugh, Paimon doesn't get it. And that's perfectly fine. In any case, these capsules aren't meant to be used by you. Huh? What do you mean? Have you forgotten? Our plan needs to account for those who have long relied on the Akasha. You may find it hard to believe, but for those people, everything the Akasha transmits to them is nothing short of absolute truth. Imagine if you've been using a device like the Akasha since the day you were born, and this device has always supported you during times of need. After all that time, what do you think you'd become? Uh... A fool? A machine? A slave to orders, and that's why rules are so important. In addition, those who understand the rules can delineate boundaries and identify gray areas. Hmm. But why would you need to identify the gray areas? You could say that those kinds of ambiguous zones can be very... interesting. One might even say they're advantageous in the right hands. Things you're interested in are really out there. Are all Sumeru scholars like this? Anyway, that's I'm enough chit-chat. I'm going to take those two to work on some small projects. You can head to Caravan Reboth and start preparing for the next step. Small projects? We're going to tinker with the Akasha Terminal and make a few... modifications.
I thought we agreed on a plan. How can you go back on your word? The plan is too radical and carries a high risk for casualties. But it's still the best plan we have. Is a former Matra, you of all- I did. And that's how I saw the danger behind these so-called advantages. <sighs> huh? Why are you guys arguing? My friend, you're just in time. Why don't you- We agreed to work out a plan at the meeting. As mercenaries, you're familiar with the local- Had I known all Haytham would give you those kinds of suggestions, I would not have agreed to the plan. Look, you already know that we're all on the same side here. Mercenaries place a lot of importance on their bonds of friendship, but also will not hesitate to make sacrifices if they deem the situation to be sufficiently dire. <sighs> Seems you really do understand the ways of the desert. Traveler, Paimon. This Raman's plan is to have me work with the Caravan Reebok guards in my capacity as a Matra. Wait! How can we work with the- We can't get through that wall easily, remember? Caravan Rebot would never let so many unregistered members of the Aramites enter- My plan will clear us of any possible suspicion, and also let us enter the cities of Big- That also sounds like something all Haytham took- Doesn't all Haytham know how dangerous this plan is? Of course he does. He told me, there is no perfect plan, but this can get the job done. He also said that with the help of Sino and the Traveler, our chance of success would increase significantly. I never blindly trust anyone, and I've always had a good eye for people. I think he made a number of valid points. It's my own choice to trust you. If I make the arrests alone, I can control myself and prevent you from getting hurt. But I can't guarantee that kind of discipline from the go- To make the whole thing more convincing, you'll need to resist to some degree. I'm okay with the deaths of enemies, but now that we're allies? <laughs> I can't believe a mantra would actually care about us. I've lived a hard life, and I can say that people like you are hard to come by. I've always treated my allies with honesty and respect. Now you're making this hard for me. Hey, is there something we can do to help? <laughs> I knew you would say that. We can help fight some of the mercenaries, which should reduce the number of times you'll have to struggle directly with the guards. That should help at least a little bit. Sino, on behalf of my people, I thank you for your kindness. But this is a mission we cannot turn our backs on. We strongly value the lives of our friends, but the goal we are about to achieve is even more important. We have no fear of casualties. Because we crave the spoils of victory. So please. Well, now that you've put but remember, you need to follow the plan and not do anything since you and I both recognize the significance of this operation. Okay. The guards should be stationed in the courtyard nearby. You can find them there. Guards! General Mahamatra! To... to what do we owe the honor? Keep your voice down. This is a secret operation. I'm going to arrest a large criminal gang near this location. According to the Academia's Guide and Regulations on Secret Operations, I have the right to ask for the cooperation of Caravan Rebot. Ah, of course, of course. Mahamatra Sino's order is the Academia's order. Just let us know what you need. But who exactly are you planning to arrest, and how many people are you expecting? Depending on the scale of this operation, we may need to report it to our superiors. There are a squad of Aramites whose number is comparable to Ein El Akmar in Port Ormos. They're involved in the theft and resale of supplies. As many as Ein El Akmar? This should definitely- And I suggest that you report this to your superiors as soon as possible. And treat- Got it! Please wait a moment, I'll contact them immediately. Because this is work. Because I trust you. I can't believe you're still in the mood to chat. This old, aren't you even a little worried? What if these guards already know, even if that guard doesn't know? 
There's a we discussed this, remember? The caravan rebot operation is of great importance. But don't worry. The guards there shouldn't know that Sino has stepped down. <laughs> How can you be so sure? First, the other Matra still don't know why Sino has left, which proves that the Academia has been covering up the matter. Second, this is a crucial moment for the Academia's God creation plan. If something were to happen to the Je no matter how you look at it, they don't seem interested in sharing the news of Sino. A reasonable inference. <laughs> which brings us to our next issue. I'm sure some of you have been wondering if the prediction function of the Akasha will affect our operation. The Akasha is still in operation, so I must remain on high alert. Actually, considering the power of the Akasha, it's quite strange that it hasn't already tried to interfere with my actions. I've given that a lot of thought. For now, I don't think you'll need to worry. If you remember, when you first came to Aru Village, all your actions and roots were predicted by the Akasha. It even gave that information, but things like that never happened again. Hmm. That's true. But why? Because we're special. Look at it from a different angle. Why do you think the Akasha will predict your actions? Because my personal data has been entered into the Akasha. That's true. But the key to this question is, haven't you ever thought about it? Just how can it do this in the first place? Because the Akasha controls the entirety of Sumeru. The Academia firmly believes that all human actions can be explained through logic. By sorting and analyzing entered data, the Akasha can derive behavioral logic and predict the actions of those who fit an existing logic model. However, at the risk of sounding like an advocate for fallacies, can everyone truly be considered logical at all time? Emotions are part of our behavioral logic. But can you guarantee that every- hmm. Sino, in the past, you've always worked alone. In the absence of another person who could sway you or your thoughts, the Akasha could produce predictions that were decisive and principled. You were used to solving problems alone. That's why the Akasha could figure- But now, you've joined a team. Our thoughts and logic have intermingled and weaved themselves together to become a complicated, chaotic mess. Any, the Akasha lacks data on these interactions, and it's impossible for it to predict your actions in the future based on your decisions in the past. After so, in my... Hmm, huh, makes sense to me. I agree. The Akasha is not alive, and I don't think we can be completely controlled by... <sighs> I guess there are things that even the Akasha cannot calculate, and people will not be forever trapped by the past. Next time, hey. Uh, will do. Just remember to stay vigilant. Ah, footsteps! General Mahamatra, we were not expecting your presence here. I'm the security officer of the Great Red Sand District. My name is Luxembarbo. Luxembarbo. Mm. This is my assistant, the Traveler. He will be working with me. The Beep! Construct beep. <laughs> what a great honor to meet you. Your golden hair is as bright as the sun. And uh, is this the latest technology from the academia? Have you made a decision regarding the matter I mentioned to your subordinate? It seems to be a dire situation, so of course you will have our full cooperation. To be perfectly honest, I've always longed to go on a mission with someone as well known as yourself. There's no need for flattery. Uh, yes, sir. Take your most elite platoon and follow me to the eastern side of the district. We will carry out the operation there. Understood. <sighs> map. Hurry, bring the map! In two days, we will engage Rahman's air. Any questions about the time or location? None at all, sir. Good. See you then. Yes, sir. Maybe hanging around the General Mahamatra isn't so bad after all. Everyone's so respectful towards us. This is all due to the absolute authority of the Academia. Now get ready.
Um, Midnight Eclipse, I don't understand what they're trying to do. It's time for the operation! Let's go meet Sino in the desert! Minors. I see. I. I. <laughs> it. It may not. Be. Look over there! Our helpers have arrived already. Let's hurry over. <sighs> Wait a moment. Ah! Oh, yes. Thank you for you. You're my assistant. Remember. Being my assistant, you must stay with me. Now let's head over there. It's General Mahamatra and his assistants. We meet again. Huh. You're here early. It's to show how important we think the operation is. Since this is a big case for the academia, we are prepared to give it our best. I'm glad to hear your sense of resolve. Remember, we must capture them alive. They are our only leads for the case. If they die, we will be unable to continue the investigation. Understood. Everyone! The Aramites are approaching from the west! Make preparations and be ready for combat! Halt! Oh? What a warm welcome! What are you judging from those shiny weapons in your hands? It seems like you're not interested in a deal. Ramon, the Academia has caught wind of your smuggling and illicit sales. If you value your life, I advise you to surrender. Who are you supposed to be? A matra from the Academia? <laughs> I can't believe you came all this way just to catch us. I'm not here to talk. Oh. Nobody's given me this much time of day since I became a mercenary. Brothers! For that slight, let's wash our blades with their blood. Let's show... Solidify. Let's roll! Stay put! It's over. Ah! We have subdued them. The operation is now over. All Aramite mercenaries and related personnel in the area have been arrested. Ah, you pitiful Dendro Archon dogs! You'll regret this! <laughs> I'm afraid you'll regret it first. King Jeshred will curse you, and you will all! Silence! Oh, ah. Uh. <laughs> 
Restrain them and take them back to Caravan Rebot. Count their numbers and send them to the Academia as instructed by the General Mahamatra. Yes, sir! Mahamatra Sino, I will now Best take my leave. Acting. If you need further assistance, please come to Caravan Rebot and ask for me. Understood. You are dismissed. There they go. Let's talk elsewhere. Idea. This part of the plan went really well. Yes. Things went perfectly. That's fantastic! And that punch you gave Rama there? Sure looks special. convincing enough. Once we're done here, I'll return to Caravan Rebot and oversee... Yeah, you <sighs> It's not the time to celebrate yet. Go join up with her. Speaking of which, is it really okay for us not to share the full plan with Tainari? I have a very close relationship with Tainari. Given how well we know each other, I believe my message alone... If we need help, Tainari... Get ready for the next phase of the plan. Don't keep them waiting. Thank you for permitting, no, inviting me to join you. <laughs> oh, oh, oops. I didn't I didn't mean to do that. Silence. Oh, it's not enough. It's not enough. Solidify. Let's roll. Oh, stay put. Bow your head. Mm. Okay, so where was that? Is this there? Is that... Hmm. You, Gray, you're up. <laughs> what? What do you want from me? It's about time. Didn't you say our part of the plan is the most important of all? <laughs> and here you come rolling in late. In the time it took you to get here, I already did five laps around the place, down seven drinks, and even did some clothes shopping. Uh, sorry. We didn't mean to keep you waiting. <laughs> I just wanted to fix your attitude and rub it in a little. After all, you took your sweet time getting here, and we've got important stuff to take care of. <laughs> I just like seeing that serious look on your face. All right, I'll stop. All joking aside, I'm glad you're here. Let's get moving and take care of this as soon oh, as possible. Maybe she bought Mark the same outfit. Uh, but where should we start? Our responsibility is to get a status update on the Fatui Harbinger known as the Doctor. We need to make sure he won't get in our way when we rescue Lesser Lord Kusanali. Dealing with an institution that controls all of Sumeru is already hard enough. If the doctor were to crash the party, it would be next to impossible for us to achieve our goals. Yeah, we sure don't want him chewing up. Right? Hearing his name just reminds me of those stuffy old geezers in the academia. I'd rather not have to deal with someone like that. 
According to the plan, we should first go to Pardis DI and ask for Forest Watcher Tainari. If all Haytham and Sino's sources are solid, then we can be sure that Tainari still has the Academia's trust. So, we'll find Tainari and convince him to get us the latest intel on the Doctor. Then, depending on what we learn, we'll make any necessary adjustments to our plan. The Sages have placed spies everywhere on the other side of the wall. I'll follow you as a bodyguard. <laughs> <laughs> you should be honored. I don't offer my services to just anyone you know. But Paimon thought mercenaries would do anything for Mora. That's certainly true. But when multiple employers are vying for your services, you should always go with the best offer. Hmm, let's see. If... Uh, how much more? Hmm, how much do I want? Hey, how about paying me with a smile? What do you say? I haven't seen you smiling much recently. If you ask me, someone like you must look lovely when they smile. Come on, give me a smile so that I can be less worried. <laughs> Looking good! I hope this pretty smile will become our lucky charm. There are many kinds of smiles, but only a truly joyous one can bring blessings to others. Let's consider this smile a down payment for our future victory. Let's go. It's time to pay a visit to Party's DI. That, that, that was nice. Traveler, Paimon, and you are? Hey there. This is our friend Dia. She's an Aramite mercenary. A mercenary? Hmm. You must have some big news for me. Also, voices. It is. It's something it's really not like important. The Please help thing us out. On. All right. Then follow me. This place is better. He's good. We won't be disturbed by any passerby. Okay. Uh, what is this important thing you want to ask me? The doctor. Hmm. He's that strange looking <laughs> really Fatui Harbinger with the mask. Paimon thinks he has blue hair. Yes, I know him. Actually, he left Pardis DI just a little while ago. <sighs> he left already? Yeah. He came looking for me. Can I ask what it was about? Sorry to ask you like this after having just met, but your answer is very important to us. For now, all we can share with you is that your friend Sino is working with us. Sino, you say? Hmm. I see. So that's why he hasn't been at the Academia. Okay. I'll answer your questions and will assist you any way I can. You don't have to tell me everything that's happened. <laughs> Sino's name really does work wonders. You're not even a little worried that we might have made it all up? Despite having just met you, I can sense that you're the serious type. Between you, the Traveler, and Sino, none of you strike me as the type that would conspire to deceive me. You don't need to tell me anything you don't want to. I'll also get straight to the point. The Harbinger you mentioned came to me because he wanted to take the scholar Hapasia away with him. Hypatia? Why would he want her? What did I name my traveler? I... And what do you mean by I named take him away? Bisithia? Is he planning to... Yes. He told me his return to Snezhnaya is imminent. Hmm. So you mean you're leaving this place soon? Indeed. Otherwise we could have perhaps talked a little more. 
I was just about to set out when I remembered something important. To that end, I made a final uh, trip to Pardisti. Let me ask. It's the name of have that. you been taking care of a scholar by the name uh, of Hapasia? Your sources are accurate. Like the, no the doubt head because you've recruited many in informants. Nippelheim. But you're in right. Hapasia has indeed been receiving treatment from Hello, me. Back. Forgive me for asking, but how's the treatment coming along? Given the way you're asking, I assume you have something to say. Since you asked, I'll be frank. I would like to take Hapasia to Snezhnaya. Mm. It's incredibly difficult to transfer a patient. As a scholar yourself, shouldn't you at least be aware of this? Oh. I can't believe your utter lack of faith in me. To the point of even questioning my general level of knowledge. How unbefitting. Well, you're the only one who's ever made such a request. I have my ways of keeping her safe during the journey. In addition, I can also promise that under my care, Hapasia will receive the most advanced and effective treatment. I will personally supervise her treatment and see to her recovery. Would that be agreeable to you? Hapasia was born see. in Sumeru and remains a scholar of the Academia. Her situation has not become dire enough to necessitate her transfer to another nation. Transporting her to Snezhnaya is risky, and the potential benefits are unknown. As the person currently responsible for her treatment, I cannot possibly sign off on this transfer. Your suggestion is rude and reckless. I'll pass. I don't know much about the doctor, but after talking with him, I realized that just like many other scholars, he possesses an aura of arrogance that I've come to detest. Thank you, friend. It's not so much that he's looking down on others, but more that he's confident in himself and his abilities to a point of near insanity. I would never refer a patient to someone like him. I prepared myself for a protracted battle of wits and was really surprised to see him just give up on the topic. Still, his reaction really concerned me. <laughs> I see, I see. Of course, your opinion makes perfect sense. <laughs> You're still young, but already quite stubborn. I must say, you are not like what I had expected. <laughs> Under normal circumstances, I wouldn't just let you off the hook like this. But unfortunately, I'm in a hurry today. What with her most noble majesty, the Tsaritsa, calling for our return. It's, uh, Luckily, there is still some natural. time left for me to take care of everything before I leave. It's just as the Academia said, you're a responsible and gifted scholar. Sadly, mm -hmm. even with all Flashback. of that, you're still lacking a bit of shrewdness. And that's also why people like you can never realize that sooner or later, everyone must pay the price for what they've learned. but feel like he's hinting at something unpleasant. He asked a question, yet didn't care for my answer. Perhaps he never came off as malicious, but an utter lack of compassion permeated through... <sighs> I can barely believe it myself. But if that... I don't think I missed any details. Frank... I'm sorry, we can't tell you everything. It's okay. I have an obligation to do so. Uh, to be perfectly honest... Recently, my master wrote several letters to me, asking me to return to the Academia and assist him with his research. Hasn't he already asked you several times before? Yes, but there's something off about this most recent batch of letters. The my master will occasionally leave a few dots on the back of the letter. One dot means that he wrote the letter on a sunny day, and three dots stand for a rainy day. This has been a habit of his for many years. But I didn't find any dots in his recent letters. I believe something may have happened to him. Huh. I get it. Since you are always at Gandarvaville, you would like me, someone already working at the Academia, to investigate this matter, right? I'd like to ask you to do that for me. 
If you can keep yourself safe, please withdraw immediately at the first hint of danger. I can do that, but I have a feeling it won't be that simple. Why is our the academia has been working on a big project. I'm not, not quite sure what it is, but your master might be involved with it. Hmm. If the higher ups really are hiding something, then it will be difficult to remove myself from the situation once the investigation starts. If the situation becomes critical, I'll leave the academia. If you don't see me there for an extended period, that's your cue. All right, we've got a plan. I I'll stay at Gandarvaville to support you. R R in so long. If that scenario comes to pass, you must be extra vigilant. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Be wary of any messages or direct requests from the academia. I, think, I must say, I, think, I, I didn't think expect a warning like hibernate. this from the General Mahamatra. <laughs> Being loyal to the academia doesn't mean blindly doing whatever the sages say. I know what I'm doing. On that note, aren't you also being quite distrustful of your alma mater? The academia, yes. But my master is a man of integrity. Even when I was a student, I was worried that he'd get in trouble oh. for sticking to his beliefs. I suppose he's lucky to have lasted so long. But in the end, it's still caught up to him. Not I better. see. So you noticed something was up with the academia from the very beginning. This may well be how Sino became involved in all of this. In which case, I must keep my promise and help you however I can. Also, if you run into Sino again, please help me pass on a message to him. Well, does that. Trust your own <laughs> senses and experiences. I think this may be something he needs to hear right now. Okay, we'll find a chance to tell him. Thanks. Right. Now let's go hunt down this Harbinger. Oh, by the way, which way did the doctor go when he left Pardis D.I.? That way. Gotcha. Thanks so much. We'll be on our way. Oh, I should have edited this so that the horns disappear. According to Tainari, the doctor the is leaving ringing. Sumeru soon. I want to check well if done. the doctor was actually telling the truth. He also said that he'll take care of everything before he leaves. What did he mean by that? We need to be extra careful when dealing with a person like him. Just to be safe, let's chase him and see what we find. But we have no idea where he went! How can we start chasing him? <laughs> yes. We'll do it the mercenary way. I'll find leads as we go. All you have to do is just follow me. <laughs> that Harbinger may have tried to cover his trail, but he still left some traces. Or perhaps he never even thought about concealing his whereabouts. Maybe that's just how arrogant he really is. Oh, necklace on cooldown. Hold on. I got this. I got this. And this card. I got this. There we go. Heart be pure, evil be erased, mind be purged, world be... Um, I always forget that last part. I haven't heard his voice lines in so long. Yep, I removed the horn so you could see the ears better. I probably should have changed the mouth as well. Hmm. I gotta go change the mouth. Be right back. It's like a mouth shape. Here we go. Oh, wait, that's different.
There. Oh, wait. No. It's the creepy mouth. Hold on. <laughs> it's mixed up with the creepy mouth. Yeah, dude. <laughs> There was like a zombie mouth in the options as well. <sighs> there we go. It, it should work now. Yep, we're headed in the right direction. In the right direction. Mm, the traces are still fresh, but there's no sign of his entourage. Ooh, I could burn Clearly that. Clearly, they're in a hurry. Oh, Where's this one going? Welcome. Also, there was that rock. I I think I can bring that. Right? Or no? It's like I'll be getting distracted. <laughs> oh wait, no. Um, I guess I wasn't supposed to burn that. Just as I thought. What did you think? We can stop here. I think I know where the doctor went. To the south of here is Port Ormos, which seems to be where they're headed. Port Ormos? They're going to leave by boat? That's right. Let's go to the port and have a look for ourselves. I saw a pig. Wait, let me... Let me... Uh... Forgot there was no crouching. There is... Then Villa somewhere. There. I ride on wind and cloud alike. <laughs> She's just holding an extra arm right now. Shh! Don't draw their <laughs> attention. The port is crawling with Fatui soldiers. Let's keep going and see what we can find. Now this is a proper farewell ceremony for a Snez Knight Harbinger. The Lord Harbinger is leaving. <sighs> I've still only seen him once or twice. I used to hold a position in our Do homeland. I okay, but back I then, don't... I the do doctor's that. spoken okay. of okay, a okay. very different way from the way he speaks now. 
Maybe the way people talk to Sumeru has rubbed off on him? It's always like that when you spend too long away from home. When he gets back to Snezhnaya, perhaps it will also take him some time to oh, get used see. to the life there again. Huh? But, sir, that... that can't be right. No, no, I remember it like it was yesterday. Both his expressions and tones are now <laughs> very different. Also, for some reason, he seems like he's all smiles now. You must be mistaken. Nobody's supposed to look happy when they're on a business trip. The doctor is on that boat. <laughs> so he told the truth after all. He is actually leaving Sumeru. Let's get closer and find a place to hide so we can observe him. Um, I what what did they mean? What's that called? Oh, there. Oh, no, this is good. This is funny. <laughs> this place will do. We can hide here while we keep an eye on the boat. Did he huh? just wave? I, is he waving at us? It's time to say goodbye. Wait, is he the only person? Uh, you mean there's nobody with him? And where are all the soldiers we saw on the port just now? They, they were all they... here just a few minutes ago. <sighs> so this was a trap. Uh, hello, Daisy dear. Welcome. Good afternoon. Wait, don't tell me that. Luckily, there is still some time left for me to take care of everything before I leave. Oh, Ian. Oh, no. I just saw a video of someone doing, like, the front rolls to avoid detection. They might be after Hapasia. Let's get back to Party's DI. Huh? What do you mean? I'm afraid that she's seen something that she wasn't supposed to see. If I were the Fatui, I would also try to take her away. And if I couldn't... Oh, no! Are you saying they're going to kill her? Let's go! Is... Uh, I wasn't paying attention. Did she? <laughs> Pardis D.I. is not a place you Fatui can just show up and do as you please. I believe we've already made ourselves quite clear. Our superior gave us permission to search for and collect medicinal herbs in Pardis D.I. for research purposes. But you've been in Sumeru for some time already. I find it coincidental that you chose to only come here today. Oh, Even the Grand Sage himself may not have the right to question our research, much less an ordinary scholar like yourself. I've done my duty to inform you. Don't make things difficult for yourself. It would seem that my words have fallen on deaf ears. You can keep trying to okay. deny it, okay. but coming to Pardis <laughs> DI now, I'm pretty sure you're not just looking for herbs. With all due respect, your baseless speculations will only lead Thank to you unnecessary for the follow, trouble. <laughs> well, you only have your harbinger to blame. <laughs> he knows nothing about keeping a low profile. I may be staying at Pardis D.I. as a scholar, but that doesn't mean I'm no longer a forest watcher. It is still my duty to protect the peace and safety of the <laughs> scholars who have contributed so much to Sumeru. Then it seems our conversation has hit an impasse. No one will lay a hand on you, Hapasia. Not on my watch. Oh. Are you all right? I'm fine. These Fatui have really crossed the line. Time to teach them a lesson. A touch of frost. Um, I feel like I should have used the... Uh, One with my blade. No, my sword! Rise. A touch of frost. Submit. 
Opening box of Adept Dietrix. Timing, yes. <laughs> Go to Hapasia. We need to make sure they don't try to sneak around and attack from behind. Got it. <sighs> Hapasia's still here. Doesn't look like anyone's broken in. Is she? Well, how is she? Oh, that's good. Huh? What's this? So, you think this is over? Oh my gosh, it's baby girl. What? The balladeer is here? Oh, with the with the pillar. <laughs> <laughs> I've missed that look of abject horror. You've given me that look every time we meet. Wait, have you met before? Where is he? I can hear all of your thoughts, you know. Don't you remember? I already saw you the first time you came to Party's DI. 
and made contact with Hypasia. I didn't need to do anything. It is her honor to be able to connect her consciousness with me. Oh. Uh, who are you talking to? It can't be the Balladeer, right? <laughs> That's He's the impossible. one who our boy to I know you must be curious. I might as well tell you that I decided to enter Hypasia's consciousness the moment I sensed your touch. But why? I wanted to observe you on a fool's errand. Hey, Traveler! What are you doing? My deification is nearly complete. All that's left now are just some final details. Do you understand? Even if you manage to rescue Lesser Lord Kusanali, it will be impossible for you to defeat a bona fide god like me. Is it wise to force that childlike god into a divine battle against me? Aren't you the child, though? Scholars consider the God of Wisdom to be the sum total of their faith. <laughs> it's how they can justify <laughs> reverence for a God as they construct it. But this also shows that humanity's worship of gods is a combination of blasphemy and exaltation. It's truly laughable. Yes. What is it? Yeah, I'm in a good mood, which is why I'm talking to you like this. What do you mean? <laughs> Those words almost make you sound like a friend who actually cares. Wait, we're friends? But you're wrong. I'm different from all of you. I was born to become a god. My entire life up until this point has just been a meaningless I routine. Lock it. It's in the end. Just think about a sheet of paper. By itself, it holds no meaning. The content recorded on it is what gives it value. All I had recorded down before were some painful memories and boring this. human feelings. <laughs> Such senseless drivel should have been erased a long time ago. Indeed, to me, the sight of you fools in your futile struggles is far more amusing. Tell me, just what has this world done for you to protect it with such zest and conviction? Um, what has this for... It gave me Zhang Li. I'm connected to your consciousness, so I can hear what you're thinking. This is a good conversation we're having. So here's a word of advice. Let go of your misguided guardian complex. It'll be for your own good, as well as everyone else. Ah, you've seen my affection for her. Affection if you were in my position, <laughs> I think you'd feel the same way. She peered into my oh, consciousness it, it and saw my past. Someone like that is qualified to become my first follower. All gods need followers. So Hapasia has been chosen. Her appearance heralds my imminent arrival at the throne of divinity, while her worship shall become... You're doubting me again? Who wants to hurt my devout follower? Me. Oh, wait. Oh, God, sorry. The doctor wants to hurt my first follower? <laughs> How very amusing. Has anyone ever told the doctor has never known his place? You're still too naive if you think a few words will be enough to convince me. It is an honor for you to be able to stand here and speak with me. As my listener, you will be rewarded. Rewarded? Is he gonna give Kyla Chan? Both good things and bad things can be called gifts. After all, gods have never needed to be reasonable ah! Paimon, you're a doctor. that person Paimon couldn't see was the balladeer oh he sure <laughs> chatted with you for a while that is for a while uh, where is the storm headed that means anyone outside is in danger let's go
Violet grass is a plant that enjoys a moist environment and is best picked after it rains. If you should choose to pick any, be sure to store them appropriately. Hmm. Where are they? He's hurt. I'm fine. <laughs> Don't move. I've seen Aramites get struck by lightning before. You need to rest. Struck by lightning? We were fighting, and just as things started looking grim, the weather suddenly became extremely strange. Lightning started attacking everyone, almost as if it were alive. Luckily, there were only two of us, and both of us were nimble enough to dodge most of the strikes. There were a lot of Fatui, though. And they were being torn to shreds by the bolts of lightning. With that, all the Fatui soldiers were forced to retreat. It's all right. My wound aside, you look like you've seen something unpleasant. <sighs> hey, didn't I tell you not to move? Just in case. <laughs> Let's go to Hapay. Quake! <laughs> Thank goodness, she's fine. Hey, how about taking care of yourself first? I understand my condition. Uh, the wound is not fatal. I'll be all right. Ugh. The more you understand medicine, the worse of a patient you become. I know. <laughs> they always think they can push through the pain. Uh, uh, oh. oh, he sat down. Uh, let me rest for a bit. That's what you were talking to the balladeer about? Oh, Paimon can't believe what he's thinking. The Academia's God creation plan. How ridiculous. That sounds, uh, ambitious, I guess. Anyway, this is all way beyond me. As long as I can enjoy every day with a drink in my hand, tasty food I in my stomach, right and a good night's rest, that's enough. I'll only work when I have to. <laughs> I must be the least ambitious person who's ever set foot in party DI. Don't say that. I haven't even thanked you for your help back there. Don't mention it. Well, if nothing else, all this proves that the doctor really did have some urgent matter to attend to and left Sumeru in a hurry.
back. Wait, flinching? I, I was out of my room. There was no one in my room. Is it broken? Hold on. Hmm. That's what it should look like. Was was my thing broken? <laughs> Power. Uh, let me take a look at what that is. Hmm, maybe the Fatui want to cover up some secret of the Balladeer. Is that why they tried to seize Hapasia? You said the Balladeer claims that Hapasia has seen his past. So, what could be there? Have you noticed? The Balladeer is not happy with the doctor's actions. He thinks the doctor has no right to consider himself as his equal. So, if the doctor was to show up again, would the balladeer zap him with lightning? Based on what the traveler has said, I think he would. Having the doctor gone benefits him as well as us. In other words, we've successfully completed the stage of the plan. The doctor is out of the picture now. Oh, Yay! Take a look. That's a big accomplishment! <sighs> I'm... I, I do not also happy you. for you. Thank you for the help, Tainari. Make sure you rest up for now. Yeah, yeah. All right. Okay, that wraps things up for us here at Party's DI. Traveler, it's about time we rendezvous with the others at the Grand Bazaar. Let's continue to keep a low profile. You can head there once you're ready. Osmanthus wine tastes the same as I... Thank you for the hydrate.
All right, everyone is here. How did everything go? Any luck with your missions? Let's report back one by one. I'll start first. We've made the necessary modifications to the Akasha Terminal. In addition, the props required are also ready. I'll go next. The Traveler and I went to Party's DI. The situation was a bit complicated, but we found Tainari. Unfortunately, he was wounded during a fight. Who was behind it? Uh, well, that's the tough part. What should I say, Traveler? The Fatui or the Balladeer? <sighs> After some back and forth, we confirmed that the doctor has left Sumeru by boat. He has something urgent to attend to back in Snezhnaya. So, we've successfully removed the doctor from the picture. Also, Tainari's already resting, so he'll be okay. Hmm. <laughs> Good. Oh! Tainari also asked us to tell you this message. Trust your own senses and experiences. <laughs> All right. I'll remember that. Everything also went smoothly on my side. The Aramites should have arrived at their destination by now. To avoid alerting the quarry, they will stay there for now. I can't believe you actually got so many Aramites in the Sumeru city. <laughs> it's all thanks to Raman and his brave team, as well as their bold strategy. It appears to have been very effective. I'm glad to hear it. Well, is that everything? Okay, this meeting is adjourned. Huh? Wait, you mean that's it? Well, what else is there to discuss? Shouldn't you end with some words of encouragement? You know, to fire us up now? Personally, I'd rather we all go home and get some rest. Oh, thank you for <sighs> looking past. Enjoy your I'll lunch. I hate them. You... Ugh. Take care. Outside. Going outside? Oh, Take care. and if you wanted someone to say something to that effect, then I must reiterate that I'm here to strategize and not to lead. So you should find someone more suitable to do that. But I thought all of you Academia Big Shots were great speakers. Then I should remind you, you that. that I'm the scribe. I know that. So what? A scribe is responsible for recording meetings, not speaking. Fine, whatever. Well, Sino doesn't seem to be much of a talker either. I guess that leaves it to my employer. Employer? Yep. The Traveler hired me. <laughs> That's right. So come on, boss. What do you have to say for the team? Yeah! Say something to boost morale! Um, go huh? team. What are you all doing here? Oh, it's Nilu! Oh. Hey, everyone. I'm not disturbing you, am I? Not at all. I was actually just about to go find you. <laughs> uh, judging from the group and all your serious faces, you were discussing something important, weren't you? But you also look like you're up to no good. <laughs> Seems pretty interesting. Welcome, Nilu. Would you like to join us? Are they all dancing? Oh, huh? Nilu's the only one who dances. Join you? You mean, you also want to discuss something important with me? Yes, something very important, Nilu. Are there any breaks in your performance schedule in the upcoming days? Huh? Wait, you're seriously inviting me? I... I can't believe my ears! You are truly the oh, bravest Arlen. and most passionate people of Sumeru... Well, that... I've ever met! <clears throat> oh, right. The Traveler and Paimon are not from Sumeru, but you are awesome as well. <laughs> That's right! I... I must admit that I'm a little scared, but I'll try my best for Lesser Lord Kusanali. If I can somehow use my abilities to help you, then count me in. Remember, believe in yourself. Okay, I'll get my friends at the Grand Bazaar to help us tomorrow. Just remember not to say too much. Be discreet. Yep. You got it. All the preparations are done. Now, can we- So, have you thought up what you'd like to say, boss? Yep, yep! It's a grand plan and we're all super- <laughs> Well said. 
A good night's rest before... <sighs> Thankfully, I've had my place to myself recently. It's been nice and quiet. Uh-huh. Oh, um, nothing. <laughs> all right, let's all go home and get a good night's sleep so we can be up early tomorrow. Okay. So I guess that means it's time to say good night now. Yep! Good night, everyone! Hello, you two. Uh, not really. What about you all, Hayden? Naturally, I slept just fine. After all, a good rest should be considered part of the plan, since energy is an important resource. You, you just want to show off how calm you are! It's crucial to dissipate any tension before we execute our- The only thing you're doing is being a- Anyway, do you need me to go over the game plan again? Our target is Grand Sage Azar's office. Everyone in the Academia knows that's where the many restricted commands and operations are executed via that console. I'm sure- You know, Hyman's been thinking. What kind of technology- That isn't something they could have accomplished with their scholarly talents alone. In the Sanctuary of 500 years ago, the Grand Sage at the time modified the device so that it can no longer be controlled. So... Uh... Don't forget, today is Nyagarbaha Day. Arguably the most important, the sages and core academia personnel are busy loading the latest batch of research development. All the Darshan's researchers have their noses to the grindstone, and the academia's grounds are flowing with all sorts of people. It's the perfect time for an infiltration. When the Grand Sage leaves his office to supervise the entering process, that's our- Well, yes. That if precedence holds, the academia should have already started- Everyone should be in position. Let's go. So are we just gonna walk in through the- Yes. Were you expecting a stealthier approach? I... I might get big- Scribe? Please, wait. Are you Scribe Alhatham? <laughs> That's me. Is something the matter? I'm in a hurry. Uh, no. I was just surprised to see you here. I had heard that the sages were looking for you not long ago, but I didn't know what for. And, um, also, please don't bring outside guests into the academia. Outside guests? How did you arrive at such a conclusion? Your groundless inference shames the Haravatat Darshan. What, what did you say? I'm the top student in Haravatat, and I earned third place at the last Inter-Darshan debate. Don't look down on me! That wasn't my intention. As your Haravatat senior, I just assumed that you possessed a greater aptitude for critical thinking. Look, based on what you already know, the purpose of my return and the reason they're here should be obvious. <laughs> Is that so? Wait a moment. Let me think. Don't tell me the answer. The sages search for you. A blonde-haired traveler. Outside guests. So, from the start, 
the sages weren't looking for you, but this traveler? And you were gone from the academia for so long because... Hey, shh. Yes, you've proven yourself as the top student in Haravatat. I surmise you've arrived at the correct conclusion. <laughs> as I expected. Please forgive me. I wasn't thinking clearly just now. Thank you for getting me back on track. It's nothing. We'll be on our way then. All right. Thank you for your contributions to the academia, scribe. Now, what did he just guess? He did. He I'm did. I'm afraid I don't know either. <laughs> you have no idea. Mm hmm. He convinced himself of whatever truth he came up with. That is the so called pride of a scholar. If someone questions their academic facility, they will instantly feign understanding to keep up appearances. Nowadays, the academia is rampant with this type of scholar. Their obvious farces of intellect only serve to highlight themselves as fools. Wow, so there are special ways to deal with smart people. We shouldn't waste any more time. It would be problematic if we missed our window of opportunity. Let's go. Is this the Academia's library? Indeed. Known as the House of Dana, it is quite possibly the most extensive special collections library in Tavat. Uh, there are a lot of students going through here. Is it really okay just to waltz right in? The Academia marches to a fast beat, especially since it's Nagarbaha Day. They're all occupied with their own matters. Just act natural. Now, hurry along. Look at all this. <laughs> Hide for now. It's a lift that academia personnel use to access higher floors. Are we gonna take it then? The Grand Sage's office is up there somewhere. No, not right now. We can't guarantee that we won't run into the Grand Sage. Let's step back and observe for now. You think the Grand Sage will exit from there? And after he does, we'd sneak past him? Who knows? However, if we can confirm Azar's current location, our operation will be much safer. Allow me to offer you a hint. Ooh. If you wish to know his location, <laughs> look behind you. Ah! You... you are... What's Grand Sage Azar doing here? Hmm. Do not tell me you believed the Academia would not grow suspicious of you after such a prolonged absence, scribe. An eyewitness had informed me of your whereabouts, so I came to personally welcome you. Grand Sage, I didn't expect you to care so much about me. I'm truly flattered. I'm sure, but compared to you, I am far more interested in these two unexpected guests. It's a pity that only now have I been afforded the opportunity to formally meet two of Sumeru's most esteemed guests. I do apologize for my lack of decorum. Excellent. You immediately initiated discussion instead of attempting to prepare some perfunctory excuse. You clearly understand the situation. The foot traffic here renders this place unsuitable for discussion. Please, follow me to my me. office. Uh. 
Hello, Becky. How are you today? You this place is crawling with guards. There's no way out for us. All right then, traveler. What did you wish to discuss with me? Today is Niagarbaha Day, so I still have many responsibilities to attend to. Hmm. You seem to know quite a bit about our endeavors. If that is so, then you should be praising our great work rather than using your trivial misgivings in a futile attempt to sway me. Trivial? Then tell me, what do the Fatui want from me? <laughs> Those are all completely worthless. Benefits, divine power, creating a god. If humanity cannot attain omniscience and omnipotence, then we shall create a god to reveal them. This we shall regain, a god's guidance at long last. No longer will we flounder in the interminable void of consciousness and knowledge. Even Ermin's soul will be freed from its plight. For our nation of scholars, this is the ultimate aspiration. No cost is too great to realize it. You will never understand the rapture of having a god be born within your very hand. Gods exist on a plane that far eclipses humanities. Care for the people, fend off sandstorms, fabricate silly fairy tales. We are a people favored by greater Lord Rukadevata. Though I may have personally not seen it, the ascension of the lesser lord has brought nothing but bewilderment to the scholars. They all ask, is that truly what true wisdom is supposed to look like? With that in mind, it is better to keep her isolated in the sanctuary of Suristhana, so our academy will not become embroiled in turmoil. What a pathetic justification! Do you really think that only the super smart or powerful should be able to call themselves gods? As per your judgment, Grand Sage, they are indeed dangerous individuals. Not only are they acting against the academia, but their ideologies have the potential to lead scholars astray. Looks like there really was merit in my assignment. Oh, Haytham? Are you talking about us? Anyway, I've brought them to the academia as ordered, but it took some time and trouble. Oh, that reminds me. Here's the investigation report you had requested. It's a summary of my time spent with the Traveler, an array of information about him ready for your perusal. Hello, Famu. How was Lito? Oh, hey, so you're, you're still on the academia side! We finally started to trust you! Oh, awesome, Sean. Oh, hi, Tori. <laughs> I just skip all these shout outs. Oh, Final Fantasy 15. Oh, hi, Ronan. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> Thank you for the follow at Dabon Voyage. Thank you. So, how is Lethal? Hmm. How can we do so myself? <laughs> Excellent. Detailed contents with no errors. I would expect nothing less than an immaculate report from the scribe. Two turrets. Did you manage to survive? Garba, I or... I'll enter the information on you into the Akasha. Uh, Surely okay. you know what that means. <laughs> we'll be monitored, just like Sino. With the Akasha's calculation uh, prowess, all Sino. of your actions will be predicted with an accuracy of at least 98%. Furthermore, your data will be updated in real time game, though? Didn't whenever you guys make new it information like presents thousand? itself. To put it into words you can understand, wherever you go, well, you will be walking under an invisible leash. This is Sumeru's greatest penalty for dishonest persons. Are you not familiar with the concept that great responsibility begets an equally great suspicion? In any case, you are Sumeru's most concerning external variable. Locking you down will greatly decrease the, the chance luck. of any undesirable outcomes coming to pass. I just remember pass. that one run You're despicable. where there was a nutcracker, despicable, a bracken, mm. and I think a thumper Perhaps immediately. from your perspective, but I suppose you've mentally area. prepared yourselves for this, no? 
Your ploy was to sacrifice the traveler here, was it not? Uh... Lord Azar, I know what you're trying to say, but I've been following your plan this entire time. Why are you doubting me at this juncture? Huh. Must I delineate your entire plan? Very well. I will spell I things out. Wait, did you First guys off, see a coil head? I received an eyewitness report that you were spotted with the traveler at Caravan Rebot. However, you immediately departed for the desert and escaped surveillance range. Judging by the time, you all likely encountered the truant General Mahamatra in the desert. Am I correct? <laughs> What's the slug? So did, was it a game over? Or Maybe Bowman should have just mentioned Sino just now. The Academia had not received correspondence from its squad for a prolonged <laughs> time. You were also in the company of the Traveler, a close associate of oh. Lesser Lord Kusanali and General Mahamatra Sino, the girl who had defected head from the Academia. In the first area. With and their instigation, the what was the probability that you would betray the Academia? Rationally speaking, 50%, 70%? What do that's you think? Oh, Regardless, you that's that only a guess. <laughs> the facts are that I've brought the Traveler right before you, and I gave you my report. Indeed, your boldness deserves praise. To think that despite status as an outlander, the Traveler is still willing to sacrifice for the sake oh. of your plan. If I'm correct, you have a contingency to plan to save to Lesser me? Lord Kusanali and ruin our great work. <laughs> Sneak into the Academia on Nia Garbaha Day using Alhatham's status as the scribe, for there is a good chance that an opportunity to save the Lesser Lord will arise. Should your Just intentions be discovered, uh... Alhatham will turn traitor and sacrifice the traveler. Wait, thus proving his wait. innocence. I, I saw a video where the girl was in the, the first academia area, though. And continue searching for a way to proceed forward. Uh, probably As for Sino, double ear S. According to the Akasha's calculations, he will soon return to the academia and confront me in person. I suppose this is also a part of your plan? <laughs> You'll see me as a traitor regardless of what I say, no? Yeah, probably a high Even if you impugn me, it would have little effect on you all. You misunderstand. Losing our scribe would irreparably damage the Academia's regular operations and the development of Sumeru's future academic systems. However, under the current circumstances, even that is trivial compared to what we stand to gain from our great work. You said that I betrayed the Academia, but you, Azar, you oh, betrayed you all of Sumeru, way. betrayed its Archon. Hmm. <laughs> So flight has turned to fight oh, at long last. <laughs> Guards! We fight? We fight? We fight? <laughs> Are you still in Sumeru? That or... Um, oh, ooh. Oh, oh. Oh, my. I know, right? I know, right? <laughs> well, what do we have here? So you stole that divine um, knowledge. I did the Fontaine last, but I haven't finished our Fontaine. You traitor! <laughs> Even the most rational scholar will yearn for the power of a god in a moment of desperation. Aren't you doing the exact I'm same thing as I me? Did come oh, home. Hatham? <laughs> Unfortunately Ugh. for you, no god will lend you their power. But no. He has gone completely insane. Me more. <laughs> Did they just hit his head with a halberd? Did I just let take him to the Mutra <laughs> and exile him to Aru village? Then find someone calm, to take Bamu. these two well, to I'm the not. confinement room. I'll deal with them later. <laughs> he got bond with Grand the sharp Sage, end of a halberd. Preparations <laughs> for Day. We may begin to enter the capsules now. Excellent. You may begin. 
He took something there, didn't he? He, he took something. Or he put something there. <laughs> uh, I wish my dance came home that time. But he didn't. Monk by the stop sign. <laughs> but yeah, you go, Paimon. Let him hear. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Paimon got a bit carried away there. How was Paimon acting just now? Great, huh? Marvelous. <laughs> Everything's going according to plan so far. We made it into confinement. I really be like, you may have outsmarted me, but I have outsmarted your outsmarting. <laughs> to trick Grand Sage Azar! Oh, Haytham sure knows how to cook up a plan! What are we doing next? Paimon has trouble remembering things when she's worked up. Right, right! Paimon thinks it went something like this. Apart from that, we still have yet another goal in the first stage of our operation, which is to send the Traveler to the confinement room. He's always been the person the sages are most afraid of, as well as the greatest obstacle to their successful implementation of their plan. They are very aware of the risk he poses to them. Once the Traveler is imprisoned, the sages will likely think that everything is under control, and with their guard down, the next phase of our plan will have a much higher chance of success. <laughs> I can already see the pompous looks on their faces. Oh, that's a super tricky plan. Paimon still thinks it's not really worth it. That isn't the only reason, of course. He has a more important task once he's in confinement. According to the Academia scholars in Rahman's custody, Lesser Lord Kusanali has sealed off her consciousness in the Akasha ever s That way, they can't pry any more information from her. Even if we break into the Sanctuary of Suristhana, it will take time to awaken Lesser Lord Kusanali's consciousness. We need to do that in advance. So our job is to wake up Nahid! Okay, totally worth getting thrown and jailed for. The confinement room is inside the academia, close to the sanctuary of Suristhana. It's a completely enclosed space, and you won't be receiving any visitors. I'll work with Rahman scholars to make some modifications to your Akasha terminal. Once you're in, get as close as you can to Lesser Lord Kusanali and try to connect to her consciousness. However, as for whether she'll actually wake up, that will depend on our luck. terminal today. It's the one that Alhatham modified. Paimon thought they'd take our Akasha terminals when they locked us up in here. Hmm, were they being careless? Alright, so what now? Sounds easy enough. We can finally talk with Nahid. Okay. There's a light flashing on your Akasha terminal. It's almost like... <gasps> the faster it blinks, the better the signal. Um... Okay. Oh. Here? Hmm. No signal again. Is it getting jammed? Can I climb? The Bluetooth device is connected successfully. <laughs> Whoa, Ooh. it's Mora. Ooh, Mora. Uh, no, Paimon, we're not here to hunt for treasure.
What's this the realm of consciousness? What what? Oh The heat is not moving. She really has sealed off her consciousness. I need to think of a way to wake her up. I mean the heat hey. <laughs> Nahida! Hey, Nahida! Hey! Zachary <laughs> uh -uh. <Exactly> got paid. <laughs> when did it first start? Huh? Oh, uh, right. Uh, it started from the moment I was born. Oh. I want to become a worthy Archon, so I've kept studying. Kept listening to my people and their hearts. Kept looking for a way to save Ermin's soul, so I can catch up. Catch up to Greater Lord Rukutavata. But I'm stuck in the Sanctuary of Sarastana. The Sages are creating a god to replace me. And I'm forced to lock my consciousness in this boundless darkness. Nikita! Nikita! Now that I think of it, I don't think I've ever actually listened to my own inner voice. Do Archons have them? Should Archons have them? Have I been doing the right thing? Am I really not needed? How do I really feel about all of this? It's so quiet here. Since you're the god of wisdom, you've known the answers to all these questions since the very beginning, haven't you? Who are you? Whose voice is that? It sounds familiar. You're right, though. I won't... I won't ignore my own voice anymore. I need to just turn on your boots. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nahida! Nahida? Did you wake me up? Thank you. Why are you here? We're here to rescue you. Are you alright? I'm fine. It's just... When I think of everything that's happened to me, I feel really angry now. <laughs> you should have been angry ages ago. Nilu, are you sure about this? You're taking such a great risk for them. I'm sure, and I'm going. <sighs> but if anything happens... Don't worry. They've been through worse. All right. You know... 
Thanks, Mr. Zubair. You're so very kind. Oh. Nilu, how's it going? Nervous? Definitely no. more than usual. But it's because I'm worried I won't dance well enough. It's okay. Just focus on your performance. We'll take care of everything else. <laughs> you sure know how to talk. Taking all the credit, even though... Well, thank you both. I'll have... Ooh, that sounds... All right, let's get back to business. Nilu, we'll be here to keep people from going to the academia so they don't interrupt bigger. your performance. <laughs> I was planning on telling them something like, the Academia has been conducting a weird experiment, and some of their test subjects escaped. Oh, you couldn't think of anything better? Oh, no. <laughs> I think it sounds great. I'm counting on you guys. Don't worry, it'll be a piece of cake. Hey, Nilu. Sorry, it's oh, just great to see you, but I'm hands? really oh. busy right now. Oh. Our bench oh, people along with Yalda Candy's plan is working beautifully. Do you want some candy? We have more than we can give out. Vihar, thank you so much for doing all of this. And even dressed up as the Knight of Flowers, no less. I'll this pass on the candy, oh, though. I, I cut oh, back hello, on sleep to the period leading up to a performance. And I'm about to start oh, one. Okay. <laughs> You have a point. The stage is cleared and everything's ready, so you can start your performance at any time. Yeah, thanks to you. I'm really grateful. You're welcome. The honor's all mine, since I'll have such a great view of the show. Seen a performance like this. Why, why do you this feel like there's incredible. no actual music? Yeah. While she's dancing. But I heard that public performances like these have been banned. I can't believe she's doing this here. Grand Sage, there's some commotion outside. <laughs> How uninteresting. Issue the new prohibition act from the Akasha to the guards. They'll know what to do. I think we should like stop her. Let's just watch for a little bit longer. <laughs> huh? oh, thank you for the hike. Oh. Performance thing turned into Nahida Escape. Go catch her. Was it? Huh? Did you hear that? It sounds like a lot of guards just ran by. Does this mean the plan has moved on to the next stage? Yep, yep. It's great that everything seems to be going well. Come to think of it, when did all hate them replace the knowledge capsule that was about to be entered into the Akasha? Oh, so that's when he did it. Paimon was too nervous to notice. 
Speaking of, didn't Alhasem also yoink the Divine Knowledge Capsule from that mercenary leader in Port Ormos when everyone else was distracted? Slide of time. It's a time-tested <laughs> trick of his. <sighs> Why are we complimenting him? Yeah, he's smart and all, but he still makes time on blood boil. <sighs> Let's review our plan for this stage again. It's not like we have anything else to do right now anyway, and it'll help us feel more confident. Paimon remembers just that Mina's task was supposed to go a bit <laughs> All like <our> this. <laughs> now that Lesser Lord Kusanali's consciousness has been forcefully sealed, the core figures of the Academia and their guards have started to wear their Akasha terminals again. With the Doctor's technological support, they think they have nothing to fear. How despicable of them to rely on such a person. But this is also our chance. I was originally asked to draft the knowledge capsule for the Artistic Performances Prohibition Act when I was still at the Academia. It should be on the Grand Sage's desk right now, and will be entered into the Akasha during the next Niagarbaha day. Oh, Are they really <laughs> going to stop all artistic performances? I'll make an identical knowledge capsule, but this time, I'll smuggle some misleading information into it. We only need to find an opportunity to switch the capsules. Once it's been entered into the Akasha on Yagarbaha Day, oh, it's if someone not just were to be FD. seen performing in public, also the, space the sages would <laughs> definitely use that opportunity to announce the ban. And so... Sure sounds complicated, but it seems like if everything goes well, we'll be able to get rid of all the guards in the Academia without any effort. That's pretty clever, getting right into their heads. I just have one question. Even if we manage to get the misleading info out to the guards, how can we- People who are used to relying on the Akasha become less inquisitive, and their ability to distinct- The Akasha will turn humans and- Yikes. Good thing I didn't wear it for long when I was working in Sumeru City. At first, I thought it was a good thing, too. By the way, this plan still requires a- Do you have someone in mind? Nilu of Zubair Theater. I know her really well. We can trust her. I'm kinda ha- All right. After the guards in the Academia are gone, then it'll be time for me and my stowaway brothers to shine. Here they come. Did you see that, Raman? They came out from the Academia in droves. After laying low in the city for so long, this... <laughs> we couldn't do it. For a lioness like you. We still need to eliminate the guards as soon as possible. If we give the... Uh, all they've done is to sit on their cushy salaries and twiddle their thumbs all day while we fought and struggled every day in the desert. Speaking of which, most of the guards who report directly to the Six Sages belong to the Corps of Thirty. But they have a complete... Following those blasted sages every whim, throwing away all the principles of being a mercenary, as someone in the same profession, I'm obligated to teach him a good lesson today. Indeed, the trap has been set. All right, let's each take a road and herd those scattered guards back into one place. Make sure you gave such an important task to that. It'll be fine. Isak was so determined to help, so let's. Besides, even if he's caught, the guards would be too scared to do anything to him. They've never seen Lesser Lord Kusanali in person. You've got a point. And good luck. When the guards get here, you'll pretend to be Lesser Lord Kusanali and run away from them. Oh, yeah, I remember. Of course I do. I'm just a, a little nervous. <laughs> Relax. Don't think about getting caught. Even if that Thank happens, you. we You've won't leave you behind. <laughs> you only need to think about getting the guards' attention and leading them to the Grand Bazaar. Leave the rest to us. Okay, got it. I'm here to pay back Lesser Lord Kusanali for helping Grandpa. I won't get cold feet. Hey, they're here. I can see the Academia guards. All right, 
It's time, Isak. Take a deep breath and go. You can do this. Wait, they're playing as him? Ooh. <laughs> what, what do I do? Wait. Why is there a guard over there? Did he already run ahead of me? Mm, this is different from our plan. But there's no time. I need to make a choice. Let's have a look behind the house. No. <laughs> oh, what no. I do next? Huh. Looks like nothing's here. A waste of time. <sighs> Luckily, he didn't check behind the tree. What should I do next? Hmm. The guard looks alert. What should I do next? Doesn't seem like anything unusual is around here. Well, looks like the guard finally left. I need to go. I hate his bare feet hey! near the middle. Lesser Lord Cusinelli is over there! Stop! <laughs> what? Lesser Lord Cusinelli? How did I not notice that? Uh, they found me. This is bad. Where should I go? Where's the field? Oh no! Oh, how is this possible? There's so an academia guard here! Oh no! Mission failed! <laughs> hey! Lesser Lord Kusinelli is over there! Stop! <laughs> what? Lesser Lord Kusinelli? How did I not notice that? Uh, they found me! This is bad! Where should I go? The target suspected to be Lesser Lord Kusanali has escaped into the Grand Bazaar. Assemble and arrest her. Isaac and Isaac. Where did she go? How did she disappear? Did we lose her? Hurry up and find her. Hey, why is your team here? Didn't we say to split up our search? Hurry, hurry! Huh? This place is... Why are you all here? Yeah, isn't it one heck of a coincidence? Everybody's here. What on earth is going on? I suppose that's all of you? Who are you? Did you set us up? What are you planning? <sighs> Phew, that was rough. I almost got caught. Little brat! So you're not actually Lesser Lord Kusanali. Who exactly are you all? Eremites from the desert? Just some colleagues. Think of this as a business competition. Or a personal grudge. After stepping into our traps, stop thinking of yourselves as hunters. Behave like the prey you are. An ambush? How's that possible? This is Sumeru City, but mercenaries from the desert somehow ambushed us! You've spent all your time hiding away in the academia. This place has long since become our hunting ground. Brace yourselves! Hmm, this is odd. The Academia has quieted down after the conclusion of the Niagara Day ceremonies, but it's much quieter than usual. Where are the guards? Why have I not seen a single one? They're Brent all Sage, done. how may I be of assistance? I called for the guards. Why did you come? Uh, my, my apologies. 
Grand Sage. Right now, all Academia guards have entered the city to perform the ordered arrest. I thought you knew. Arrest? Who is there to arrest? I have an ominous feeling. <laughs> uh, arrest Lesser Lord Kusanali, right? Is that not what the order was? Lesser Lord Kusanali? You mean she has disappeared? Uh, yes. I wouldn't dare make up something like that. Right now, everyone is in a panic, and many are saying that... that Lesser Lord Kusanali will take revenge on us. What happened? Just what is going on? Lesser Lord Kusanali somehow escaped? Was it Alhatham and his party that freed her? That's impossible. The Academia is heavily guarded today, and any order to release Lesser Lord Kusanali would be strictly confidential. Besides, Alhatham and the Traveler are already in our hands. What manner of trickery did they employ? How could Lesser Lord Kusanali disappear into thin air? Disappear? Wait. How was the arrest order distributed to the guards? It was issued by the Akasha earlier today. Only you have the authority to send messages like that, so I thought it was your order. Let me check. Ah, here. Lesser Lord Kusanali has escaped from the Sanctuary of Surus. The Akasha indeed contains this information. How did they bypass my permissions to issue this kind of message? Hello Was there, it a Nash report about the traveler Thank you for joining that Alhatham submitted? No. I specifically checked that knowledge capsule before entering it into the Akasha. Could that have been a red herring? Well, even if I figure it out now, it won't make any difference. The important thing now is to confirm Lesser Lord Kusanali's status. Have you been to the Sanctuary of Surasthana to confirm? N no I, I haven't. It... It may be a bit offensive to say this, but how can the information in the Akasha be inaccurate? If we have to confirm the information and knowledge, then how is that any different from us learning that information ourselves? In the beginning, it was I who asked you to believe in the Akasha, to believe in the legacy left by Greater Lord Ruka Devata. Are you trying to use my words against me? N no Grand Sage. I'm merely confused because I believe in you. I never... <laughs> Stay here and see if there are any suspicious people around. Y yes, Grand Sage. Lesser Lord Kusanali has escaped from the sanctuary of Surasthana. <sighs> How can that be? Stop thinking about it. Stop. There must be a trick of theirs. As long as I personally confirm it. Ah! Impossible. That's impossible. There must be something wrong with my eyes. Oh. Huh? She really appeared again? What is the meaning of this? What a comical sight is are. <gasps> Once the Akasha has put certain thoughts into your head, even the Grand Sage can no longer see what's right in front of him. You all can only see the world in your mind, the one you think you know. And precisely because of this, it, she has been a wise and worthy Archon. Sino, the Akasha predicted that you would return to the Academia to confront me. But no, you were blinded. Your fault stem. I truly did not expect a proud person. People change, Azar. <laughs> then tell me. You want to buy time? This is the sanctuary of Surasthana. Under your own regulations. As for the investigation, I've at least confirmed that you are guilty. So what? Did you do all of this so I would plead guilty? No. You once said that I had no standing to judge you. So now, how about judgment in the name of a god? Oh, no cutscene? <laughs> mm, hello? Oh, Paimon hasn't heard any sounds outside for a while. Yeah, but aren't you scared that we might be... Uh, 
thinking about it. At least pa when Paimon thinks of Nahida being imprisoned. <laughs> Here comes your savior. Yeah! Hyman just knew you would come to rescue us! Hello there, SPG Puppy. Thank you for joining Bamus Raid. You two really owe me some big thanks. I had to search through who knows how many guards to find the key here. It felt even more tiring than whacking them. I'm exhausted. Thanks a lot. Need Paimon to rub your shoulders? Uh, no, no, that's, uh, I'll pass. What are you afraid of? Ugh, now isn't the time to talk about being ticklish. Is she ticklish? Things in the city and on <laughs> Sino's side are both going well. The guards that stormed out of the academia are all taken care of. The Corps of Thirty is in charge of the city's defenses, but we already talked to Asfand. They've been fed up with the sages bossing them around. As long as it doesn't break their employment contracts, they'll turn a blind eye. That's probably because you've been super great friends with them for a long time. The Grand Sage is in his custody. Even I know how terrible it is to fall into Sino's hands, so he probably does too. Sino forced him to release Lesser Lord Kusanali. He has no choice but to obey. So, hurry to the Sanctuary of Suristhana. Assuming nothing weird happened, we should have already rescued our Archon. Honestly, I didn't ex- All right, you two better go. I still have to clean up some messes in the city. See you around. They say it's nice to meet you. This is the first time we've met in real life. Before, we've only met in dreams. Consciousness. Thank you so much for coming to rescue me. During this time, I did some self-reflection. Exactly! We're here because you're a good <laughs> archon and one of my friends! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, you two. Amazing. So this is how it feels to walk out of that cage with my own body. It's like I just had an endlessly long dream. My concept of self has become so clear. <clears throat> but now doesn't seem to be the time to indulge in this feeling. Um, this is really... It's okay. With you here, there's one more thing. What is it? For all the things the Academia did to me. And for all the folly it committed in the name of wisdom. Ah, wow! That's the spirit! You're finally... <laughs> I understand now. If you haven't even figured out how to be a caterpillar, how can you be a butterfly? Yes, true. Hmm, that reminds me. We need to hurry and prevent the birth of that false god. I need to make some preparations. Since I'm now free, I can establish a direct link to the Akasha and control it. First things first. I need to remove the- After that, I'll make some adjustments and revoke the sage's permission. After all, the academia betrayed. This might take some time. And if we don't stop the God Creek... We might as well prepare for a fight. When we're done, we can take a walk around. After all, we missed out on a lot of stuff when we were locked up. Ah, 
Osmanthus wine tastes the same as I remember. How's it going, Nahi? I'm done with the parts that needed my involvement. Although it's my first time working with the Akasha like this, its internal structure and operation procedures are easy for me to understand. Oh, also, this is for you. Huh? What's that? What's this little floaty thingy? It's a small device I put together just now. You may not need it right now, but it should... Wait! This thing has the same characteristics as Paimon! We're both small things that float! <laughs> small things that float. <laughs> Alright, Paimon. It can't replace you. It's only a flying device. <sighs> you're so good at co- Hmm? Uh, Nahida, you're a natural at- By the way, even though I'm the Archon and it- You may have heard that an Archon's power is derived from their people's faith. Uh, so how if we get into a situation where combat- I'm glad I can re- hmm. So the God of Wisdom isn't good at fighting? I've located where the false god is. I don't want to use. <laughs> I, I don't want to use the look though. <laughs> Present. I can't wait any longer! How about this? If, I forgot if I moved their artifacts around. Let's try again. What is this place? Wow. Who would have thought the sages wanted to realize their god creation plan without being discovered? The safest and most convenient... Hmm. That's true. Judging from the structure here, the project is a huge undertaking. The same, but this place doesn't look like it could have been good. The Fatuli under the doctor sure didn't hold back. They provided a lot of technological support. Yeah, or else they wouldn't have been that generous. Is that it, though? I've always felt that this, instead of being interested in the end pro- Hmm. The Fatuli harp. So, this Fatuli that they're trying to turn into a- We had previously come into contact with this consciousness. 
One is the desire for a gnosis. The other obsession is probably related to his past. Paimon knows that he was a prototype puppet for the Raiden Shogun before he be- That's why he wants a gnosis so badly. There's no way he'd willingly be a test subject. It sounds like you know the Balladeer quite well. I see. Tell me more about him, and the more we know now, the- Time to go. Hmm? Time to gather. No more rats. What? To put your back in joint. My plan. Rain outlines your fate. Very clean. Attack. Time to put this solidified. A touch of frost. Let's end this quickly. Gather. This should be fun. Rain cutter. Fourth, my blade. Submit for judgment. It isn't time for a break yet. Too long. <laughs> hmm. Plus Genshin. Um, sadly, I need like the, the elements reacting to each other, but I. <laughs> I, d I don't build them. <laughs> what if I just add Bennett? I don't need Bennett. Because the only two characters that- the only three characters that have been built kind of are these three up here. What if I just use? I don't. I don't I need to... I'll hang out with you, youngsters. I'll just use that. Oh, thank you for the stretchy Dean. <laughs> oh, I have to is... <sighs> the sages wanted to real. Hmm. Judging from the- but this place doesn't look like it could have been the Fatui under the doctor sure didn't hold back. Yeah! Or is that it? Instead of be- Hmm. 
So, we had previously come in one is with the other of Paimon knows that that's why he wants- It sounds like you know the back- They see, the more we know- Ah, I see. All right. Worst game I speak in! Attaboy! Don't dare to mess with me! Squall and Fury! Oh yeah, they've got Jake Gadget. Too late, Bird! Let's roll! Behold! Gears of the storm! Dare to mess with me? Let's end this quickly! Bam! Solidify! Squall and Fury! Order guide you! Rip, I missed it. Coming through. Let's end this quickly. Bam. Let's begin. Stabilize. Let's roll. Gather. Dare to mess with me? The wind rises. Seems all messed up. Let's go around and see if there's a way to fix it. Oh. Do I? It seems to have stopped. Let's continue. Oh, he's back. <laughs> Stabilize. Atta boy. Squall and Fury. Too late, bird. 
Maybe there's something wrong with the tracks. Let's try adjusting the direction of the device to clear the tracks. Isabel was over there, though. Wait, 
he just hey killed himself? Boy. Hi. It's showtime. Wait, is he coming back? Bella. Oh. Stabilize. Too late for a squad of fury. That's an ice. What if I fight? Stay right there. Atta boy. Dare to mess with me. The wind rises.
its operational status, we must prepare for the worst. The god they wanted to create... Oh, no. What should we do? Paimon... Are you nervous? If you really want to know... Yes, I am. This is... I feel not just nervous, but curious as well. Curious? Curious about our fate. To me, everything we perceive in this world, and if it's a form of knowledge, however... Only fate is about that which has yet to occur. So to me, fate is the ultimate knowledge. That's also why I love observing humans and all the things that happen to them. And now, at long last, I'm not just an observer anymore. I will personally experience my own... Ah, so that's what you mean. I'm an... Agreed. Okay, let's continue on. I can sense his aura from here. so eager for my birth. I remember you, Boor, the god of wisdom, and standing beside you, the traveler. Is he knowing and powerful now like greater Lord Ruka Devada? No, I can't feel the same kind of divinity I felt from the greater Lord. It seems that the sages didn't get the chance to infuse the divine knowledge capsules into him. But even still, he has undoubtedly become a true god now. <gasps> so we're too late? The Balladeer has already... already become a god? The Balladeer. A long bygone title. When my spirit ascended to divinity, I felt as if I had existed for the same number of epochs as heaven and earth. Looking back, the existence of what once called itself Kuni Kazushi appears infinitely small and ugly. I did get to read all that. The opposing aura. It really feels like the gods. A body that capitalizes on the Balladeer's original construction as a mechanical puppet, with the Gnosis serving as a constant power <laughs> supply. <laughs> How much effort and resources did the sages put into this? From a purely technological perspective, it's a commendable achievement indeed. You sure are something! Fishing up- But I don't think he's reached the spiritual height of a god. Strife is engraved upon every god and every gnosis brought forth into this world. Can you feel it? The exhilaration of such power and the thrill of anticipation for our contention. Nahida wouldn't feel the same thing that- Do you not realize that you are interrupting a conversation between- The strife engraved upon a Gnosis. You're talking about the Archon War. But it all went to his heart. Tabat's current <laughs> peace was not easily won. It's I didn't personally participate in the Archon War, but the way I see it, all those losses were meaningless, driven by the demands of the laws. There's no- <laughs> Is that so? 
Yet I am deeply disappointed that I was never allowed the fortuity to personally part. This is a first. And no wonder your own people have abandoned you. <laughs> your judgment is as your existence. Unsubstantial. This is where everything ends, Boor. The god of wisdom. You should know that wisdom cannot solve every problem. Like now, where your only option is to face me in combat. Come. Let us reenact a scene of the Archon War. Come and inaugurate my birth as a god. Oh, we start immediately, okay. Stabilize! Oh, oh What are these things? They have energy blocks during the battle. Insignificant charge the thing. Attaboy! Gather! Uh, a fine. Oh, oopsie. Oh, me? Quit falling. Wrong button. Feeble human! What is that? Oh, low battery. What? What's that for? Solidify. <laughs> I'm just trying to understand what's going on. <laughs> At my command, you shall fall. Huh? Dare to mess with me. Stabilize. Behold. Ah. Insignificant ah. Oh, is that to teleport? Adios? Is that a game? <laughs> How was your stream? Ooh, there's a face too. Okay. He's got a full suit now. Solidify. The wind rises. Reality is pain. Are you sad? The thing 
is property. My characters with elemental reactions aren't, you know, built well. <laughs> This is supposed to be a battle between gods, yet you choose to hide behind a mortal. And now, you're acting like you'd sacrifice yourself for a human. Are you having fun proving a false sense of heroism to yourself, Boor? Ooh. That frame looks so cool. The data collection is almost complete. Do you even know how many times you've tried to take my gnosis from me? Oh, that is just cool. We just concluded the 168th loop. Did you know that in the effort to create you, the people of Sumeru were forced to live through the exact same number of Subzeris festivals and Samsara cycles? The power of dreams. When did you use it on me? can't even defeat me in a dream. What do you hope to achieve with this little trick? <sighs> Come, traveler. Just like before. Allow me to awaken the memories in your dreams. The memories in my dream? <sighs> All that battle experience! It's more than that. Compile everyone's wisdom in the name of the Archon. That is the original function of the Akasha. I've sent everything that happened just now to the people of Sumeru in the form of knowledge. I've asked them to help you find a way to defeat the false god. Tricks won't save you. That's pretty cool. Oh. Do the power of the <laughs> Asking Reddit. <laughs> Are you done with your tricks? Your Can I finally take don't. this as a real battle between gods? I'll leave this to you. The first sage. A boar. Wait, wait, we don't know how to use God. her. Oh wait, that's not how you, that, that's not how you use her? That's that's not it. Let me kick your legs. Solidify, order guide you. Let's roll! Who wants some of this? Oh, we're ready to go. Wait, come back. Stabilize. Dare to mess with me? Tremble. Make yourself a move. I don't know what that does, but I did it. Is 
reality is what? Attaboy. I hit your leg. I don't know how to use Nikita. The wind rises. Kneel. Good oh, he's doing something. Cruel world. Stabilize. Destroy the what? Summoned by what? Is he? doing this? What's this one? Hold down the what? Not possible. Uh, four leaf sigil? It's not working. I can't. Huh. You're too slow. Why, why can't I? Humans, filthy humans. Ah, oh, she fly. <sighs> you don't need the second terminal if you fail the first step. You can just knit them after what? What what terminal? <laughs> no. Wait. Please. Anything but the gnosis. <sighs> That's mine. Don't even try. Ah, perfect the girl. Never, I'll never go back. haven't yet found the answer to the most important mystery. Ermin's soul is still waiting to be saved. With the power of another Gnosis, we may now finally understand the last memory of Greater Lord Rukadavata. This is... That's right. This is the last memory of my predecessor. Are we going to the Great Holy Onion? 
Huh. This sure seems very different from what Paimon imagined. Yes, that is our destination. But I didn't ex Forbidden knowledge? Hmm, your infant forbidden knowledge once polluted the desert thousands of years then. A second instance of forbidden knowledge pollution occurred during the con- But I'm afraid it is much more serious. So, if we're in the remaining consciousness of Greater Lord Ruka Devaka, Yes. It's very possible that she sacrificed her- She didn't completely eradicate forbidden knowledge. But if it weren't for her actions, the pollution would have- The way that everyone, including me, has forgotten everything about forbidden knowledge may <laughs> I'm just... Uh, sharing her pain. The pollution of her consciousness. Did she fight to resist the forbidden knowledge pollution in such terrible con- She even used her last remnant of lucid consciousness to leave a cl Yes. Her words were distorted, but now... We have a chance to find the end. We can cross the polluted consciousness until we found the right- And then... We'll let Greater Lord Ruka Devata tell each of us need to be mindful of the state of our own consciousness. Even with the Gnosis's protection, we must always keep a. <sighs> Don't worry, it should be easy and. which symbolizes reason here. Wow. What are these? The monsters seem to have been affected by them. Stream is longer than I expected. in the sky? the 
Now I have that. in the middle of it Change direction. Are we still going the right way, Nahida? Running. If you get to AR 16 mm -hmm. on America's Judging server, route, you can join us many times as you want. This will soon take us out of here. We'll be arriving at our destination soon. How are you feeling? Are your minds still intact? Huh? But everything's been completely normal for Paimon. Hopefully there won't be any more yep, interruptions. this is an A. This time, saber. we should be able to meet Greater Lord Ruka Devata. Are you saying you've never met Greater Lord Ruka Devata before? No. It seems that my birth and her death took place at the same time. Otherwise... I think she would have given me a little more guidance, and I could have done a better job. Hey, what? You've how can I leave job, this? This is like inside a Let's domain right now, right? So. Is this the place you were talking about? 
The base of Ermensoul? Bought the game, but never. Um. <laughs> oh, yes, well, also, like, I play mostly place. on an East server. Japan plays mostly on America's server. Everyone else also plays on, uh, I mean, Asia server. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Papa Deez in Oceania. Right? But the one standing over there is... Is that... Are you... Greater Lord Rukidabata? Yes, that's me. Are you surprised by my appearance? Ermansoul and the surrounding lands have been reproduced here as they were years ago. But this is just a realm of consciousness. Together we are, we are manifestations of the same nature. Hence why we would appear exactly the same. Hmm? We're... of the same nature? Why? Because you're the same person. Because you are me, and I am you. You are me in the new samsara. The new samsara? As Greater Lord Rukadevata, I'm the avatar of Ermansoul. And you are the purest branch snapped Here, from your soul. Same. My Asia account is not way. progressing as well. Even if a tree <laughs> dies, its branches will eventually take root and grow, continuing the tree's life in another form. I'm merely the remaining consciousness of Greater Lord Rukadevata. The real me has presumably died a long time ago. Here, I, I marathoned the Sumer Archon Fest. <laughs> hmm. Judging from your appearance, I've probably been dead for 500 years. Dark but you're finally adventure. here. My new self in the join you. <laughs> if this is true, then... If, if she doesn't get motion sickness from the game anymore. Going to be a great Archon like you someday? Though we share the same nature, our fates are bound to be different. All things have their own fate. When a branch grows into a mature tree, it won't be the same Wait, as the original tree. Is there motion blur in this game? That's why fate is the ultimate knowledge, isn't it? That's a great insight. Yes, very good. Reaper, Captain gets it's motion also sickness from sky. Why you won't become it's like sad. Me. <sighs> really? But perhaps you may become an even greater archon than I. I already see a determination Not in you yeah. that I didn't possess in my time, and, and the what? future that it leads you to. <laughs> Will be yours alone, along with the blessings from your past experiences. Yeah, Don't is. worry, <laughs> the growth of wisdom is like that of a plant. You can to think of it. Lying down. The sages oh. never had the faintest Wait, did you of get the a headache meaning of wisdom. We, we can't just you. uber cup then. True. Nothing makes me happier than discovering that the archon also, I always maybe admired it's the wasn't that movement myself in another fate. When reliving spirits, because they just move around. It's so nice that to speak be. with you, Greater Lord Rukadevata. I've always wanted to meet you. The feeling is mutual. From the moment I snapped the branch off Ermansoul and created you, I've also looked forward to talking with you. Could you tell me really, yeah. why you wanted to water. create me? Turn the light down. And what exactly happened when you died? Ah, I see. You're here seeking answers, right? Everything that day, even the sky itself, changed into a color like this. At that time, the seven were all summoned to the nation of Conria. Except for me. I had a more important task to attend to. I had to protect Ermansoul. The disaster occurred together with the pollution of forbidden knowledge. At that very moment, with my consciousness connected to Ermansoul, I sensed something was wrong. The pain started to torment my mind. By the time I reached Ermansoul, it was already displaying signs of corruption. Had I not repelled the pollution of forbidden knowledge with King Deshret, Thousands of years ago, I might have felt even more hopeless and lost. So what exactly is forbidden knowledge? 
It's a kind of knowledge that doesn't belong to this world, and a form of truth that can't be understood. It came from the very bottom of the abyss. Even I could never understand it. The world is constantly rejecting it, leading to all kinds of bad phenomena. If we allow forbidden knowledge to pollute Ermin's soul, I'm afraid the entirety of Tavat could fall apart. So, there's knowledge that even the God of Wisdom can't understand? At that time, I knew I couldn't rip, which is why I created a device that compiled human wisdom. It's truly the world. <laughs> Thank you. Though it was selfish to do so, I borrowed people's dreams. Well, did it work? Thanks to the wisdom of the people of Sumeru, almost all the forbidden knowledge was cleared from Ermansol. But things didn't go as smoothly as I thought. And then... I remembered that my consciousness was also connected with Ermansol. From the very beginning, my existence had been polluted by the forbidden knowledge. Oh no. How could I have experienced that pain in your consciousness? Yes, but my feelings weren't important. Even if I died, my existence and everything related to me would continue to exist in Ermansol as memories and... There's no one. So, I took the purest branch of Ermansol as all in hopes that you would come here and remove me and my pollution. W wait! <laughs> so your Ermansol has all the knowledge and memories of this world. Removing me from Ermansol means but... People love you so much and how can we just... Is there really no other way? You're the god of wisdom, Boor. You should know that there is no other way. But this... <laughs> no need to feel so sad, Boor. As someone who delights in wisdom, these are the words in their entirety. Let the world completely forget me. Oh, world forget me, I see. We all nestle under the great tree of wisdom, peering out to perceive the world. From the earth and from the rain, we perceive its wonders, until we become a white bird to perch atop a branch, and finally snap off the most important leaf. Once upon a time, I alone dreamed in this world. In my dreams, everybody would also dream after they fell asleep. Wild and wonderful thoughts would emerge from their minds. Some tumbled to the ground, and others floated to the sky. Connecting all things in the world into one dazzling net. Among a plethora of worlds were numerous smaller worlds. All of fate, finding within the tapestry their brilliant glow. I gradually understood that these indescribable and constantly changing things are the most profound things in the world. Only they can completely repel the madness. Only dreams can awaken consciousness from the deepest darkness. this question, yet also the one who sought a solution. Saving the world with the dreams of the people used to be my answer. And now, you've also found your own answer, and I shall return all the dreams to the people. Be blessed tonight with the sweetest of dreams. Thank 
confused. We've just saved the world, right? So why? Why am I crying? I don't know where this feeling inside of me is coming from. But I feel very sad. Just now, we use the power of two gnosis to successfully connect with the this Renaissance Cavalier consciousness remember? from 500 years ago. And we removed the Cavalier remaining remembers. pollution from Merman Soul. Yeah, what's wrong? Weren't you there just now? What's that? Oh, was that Vittoria? I've been waiting here far too long, but finally I have the chance to be alone with you. All the precious time I wasted has finally paid off. The doctor! What have you done? Just a type of sound wave that can quickly put defenseless people into a dream. As I expected, it doesn't have any effect on gods. This is the only thing of interest I found among the sages' research. I thought I'd take it for a little spin. Don't worry. I know you would never forgive me if I actually killed them. I'm here to negotiate with you. Naturally, I won't do anything dangerous that could potentially damage our relationship. Negotiate with me? I heard you had already left Sumeru. Why are you here again now? I left Sumeru. But I also stayed in Sumeru. Even the God of Wisdom is restricted by the habits of cognition. How disappointing. You mean... There are many different versions of you in this world? An astute <laughs> guess. I came to bargain. <laughs> Even the same individual will have different cognitions at different ages. A long time ago, I made a major decision in hopes of preserving all my perspectives of how I observed the world. Observation is the first step of any experiment, but observing the current world doesn't satisfy me. I it lacks an important tonight. dimension, <laughs> that of time. So I saved mm -hmm. segments of all my ages and made them into independent individuals. That's all there is to it. Is that a chibi Indulge that Tori walking How around How does the somewhere? God of Wisdom find my method of seeking knowledge? It's an insult to the very concept of life. Life inherently has many rules and restrictions. <laughs> Good. Amazing, even. Indeed, it's difficult for humans to make peace with themselves. Not to mention oneself oh, from a different some... period. Oh, yeah, there's Since Amanda. you were in the academia, why wait until now to show up? You could very- Simple. Let me ask you this. Would any staff member ever help the subject in the middle of an experiment? It was my experiment. So why should I interfere with the results? The Academia saw the plan to create a god as their ultimate goal. Yet you only saw it as an ordinary experiment. You... You really are crazy. If the experiment succeeded, you would have had a new god on your hands. Would you still take the same stance? Would you still hold the same view of yourself? I'm first and foremost a scholar. These results should be left to the judgment of the hypothetical me confronted with that outcome. But you're right. And that's exactly why I'm disappointed with the conclusion of this experiment. As an individual, you don't have any sense of belonging. You seem to have even fewer convictions than a typical scholar. Oh no, I certainly have my own convictions. They just don't fit your standards, that's all. All right, that's enough conversation for today. The experiment is over, and it's time to tidy up the equipment and reclaim any useful materials. For example, the Gnosis. 
Lesser Lord Kusanali, you're an intelligent Archon. I'm sure you understand the disparity in our combat abilities at this time. Besides, you have no way to use that Electronosis in battle. Didn't you say you were here to negotiate with me? Somehow, it's starting to seem like you intend to take it by force now. <laughs> After all, I'm also a scholar. Naturally, I hope to show proper oh, respect and here. dignity to the God of Wisdom. Your hypocrisy is built on absolute confidence. I understand your scheme, but... What if I were to destroy the Gnosis now and awaken the Heavenly Principles? Awaken? Hmm. Do you think that's really possible? The Heavenly Principles have been silent for many years, but the Gnosis are symbols of their control over Tevat and all the laws. Will the destruction of a Gnosis attract the attention of the Heavenly Principles? And if so, how do the Fatui plan to deal with the consequences? Do you dare to gamble such a possibility with me? <laughs> gamble? How surprising. I thought you would show evidence or use rigorous reasoning to prove your point. But this is a clever move. You must have seen through me when I first captured your consciousness. As a scholar, I respect all possibilities. This has always been my principle and is an essential trait as an experimenter. Indeed. I can't ignore this possibility. This foreign gnosis will only lead to disaster if it's... But this electronosis is the prize I attained up now. As the one who initiated this cascade of events, shouldn't you pay the corresponding price? Price? Interesting. What price would you have? How about erasing all your other... <laughs> so this is how you wish to restrict me. The most thr segments are extraordinarily difficult to make. They rec- Yes. How very- Among all the versions of me, this segment you see now is the most selfish. If it weren't me, your idea wouldn't- What did you see when you were imprisoned? You were observing me, and that's how you know I've long grown tired of their doubts and endless arguments. Like you said. It's difficult to make peace with yourself. Being as smart as you are, have you managed to do that? Hmm. I see. If you think all those versions of me are worth a gnosis, then deal. You sure didn't hesitate much. Is the relationship between all the versions of you really that bad? I don't think there's any need to dwell on that. The surplus versions of me can be exchanged for a gnosis. Do you think anyone can offer themselves at a higher price besides with my abilities? It's only a matter of time and... But what I'd like to know is... How can you be sure that I've really erased them? I can see your remaining honesty. <laughs> what a ridiculous decision! Sheer you can't be serious! How could I have been you so short-sighted? You think that this is the end? Wait, I'll have my revenge. Please little wait. Bench. You'll make Good this riddance. moment count. You, you will regret this. Well, have you confirmed that it's complete? Here. Oh, that was Take it. Oh, okay. I was wondering the future of Sumeru right? City will be in my hands alone. I will shut down the Akasha and let curiosity and the thirst for knowledge drive the realm of academics once again. There won't be any further gaps for you no to exploit. It truly pains right. me that my academic achievements have never been appreciated in my homeland. Of course, I have no interest in being rejected by this city for a third time. Another chess piece. And where is your dendronosis? Don't be greedy, Harbinger of Snezhnaya. No, this is a different transaction. If you intend to turn off the Akasha anyway, then there's no further use for the Gnosis of Sumeru, is there? Besides, isn't it the Archon's duty to deliver what's desired of the Seeker? Oh, 
Judging from your expression, you don't seem to find the idea very agreeable. Then let's think of it this way. Since you're the god of wisdom, how about I exchange some knowledge with you? People exchanging knowledge with the god of wisdom is the stuff of legends. Yet here you wish to exchange knowledge for the god of wisdom's property. Arrogant as that is, it has piqued my interest. Let me ask you. Have you, in all your mighty knowledge, ever heard the rumor that the skies of Tevat are fake? Huh? That's the secret hidden by Ermin's soul concerning the truth of this world. Once I finish telling you about this, it will be time for me to say goodbye. With negotiations, we've all gotten what we wanted. I'm very glad I got to meet you like this. Your arrogance may know no bounds, and convictions may mean nothing to you. But I'll still listen to what you have to say. Okay, wake him up. Are you awake? Kali says it's time for breakfast. Come on, get up! Good morning! Is this me up How are you feeling today? Ah, okay. Good to hear. It looks like we've recovered pretty well. Not even Tainari could stop us from going out now, right? Uh, I'll, I'll end it here. Come on, Traveler! Oh, I already finished the dailies. Let's wash things there. Wash simulator, yeah. Watch this show up as a mechanic and not plan. The what? what? Oh, 
Oh, they were paralyzed. Oh, <laughs> relax. <laughs> what was this that I'm hearing? I want to try. I think I've got like 10 50 or something. Oh, there's more. Thirty-five. Oh, I don't have enough though. Hmm. I believe I, I want to do a ten full, but I don't have enough. I'll do it, solo pulse. There's nothing in my pulse, nothing. Boats are made for transferring commodities back and forth. And those that come across Lior tend to stay a while. So it is where many things come to settle. Ah, who's throwing things? Punishing you for not paying attention to the <laughs> No! <laughs> Close answer. Yeah. Yeah. I, I was gonna end it after the whole, you know, scene thing. <coughs> Sneaky, you should have seen the first week of January. That was like a stream almost every day. know and any recommendations for great Captain, are you gonna go live go live so i can read you guys stream we could To make it make it make it 6 p.m. <laughs> what if you start <laughs> starting soon three hours? <laughs> leave you guys here then on BRB <laughs> oh I, I better disable raid in case someone's gonna raid uh he met and he played yes Kapan Genshin Kapan 
6 p.m. stream. <laughs> I'm gonna start. Okay, I'm gonna wait for you. <laughs> uh, we're we're gonna end soon. We're waiting for Captain to start streaming. <laughs> or do you want to stream? Wait, you you have a headache, Ronin. How's the headache going? What do you, what do you mean no end? For our yes, compared to your seven hour short stream running. Oh, you're gonna stream property. <laughs> Wait, but but you already told Kapel you were gonna read though. What do we think to get? What food did you get, Ron? I know. Oh. I miss fried enoki now. If, if only they make them here. But I'm too lazy to cook and wash dishes. Where's where's Kapan? Uh, I'll change it just. Well, it's a good thing I'm broke then, I guess. <laughs> oh, the pants live. He's playing Metal Gear Solid 5 Phantom To read the pen, <laughs> who's going to be playing Metal Gear Solid 5? Uh, thank you everyone for dropping by. I'll see you. I'm actually not sure if I'll be streaming tomorrow, but there will be a collab on Sunday. I think it's 2 p.m. Uh, I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.